Oh, I got a special guest. Oh, guest. The, the vice captain, Bill. Plural. Well, that's true. The vice captain of North Melbourne, of course, superstar. Well, going beautifully. Had yep. a really good uh, year last year. Back half. Stamp, back half of the year. Stamped yep. himself. 104 tackles last year, Jim. Sixth in the North Melbourne best and fairest. Boy from Wodonga, Jackie Zeeb. Go, okay, Jack. Bill, JB. Hello, Zeebs. Who did you bring on? in with you, Jack? I've got my girlfriend here today. <laughs> a very beautiful Linda, who, by mm. the way, we spoke yesterday. I think it's coming up. Uh, it is fit, a little bit later on. Fit and Fugly mm. is coming up. Oh, where, yes. w- where blokes <laughs> actually give a, us a photo of themselves and then of their better halves. halves. And in this case, I Ooh. think it would fit in beautifully because Linda looks a hundred a thousand bucks. Uh, and Jackie, is saying, is it $45, 30, $50 30, $40. Oh, you know? And you've got red hair, Jack. So that's a no, good effort no. to get Linda. No red hair, mate. What is it? It's Sandy Blonde. <laughs> Sandy Blonde. Sandy Blonde. It's, it's, it's all right to be a ringer, mate. No, I don't have red hair. I'm confident about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, how is your fitness, mate? Because, uh, as Jim said, a really good back half of the year. And I think you've worked pretty hard on it uh, and might have spoken to a few people about getting up to AFL standard. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, last year was a bit of a slow start for myself personally. Mm-hmm. Um, but coming into uh, a few more games under my belt towards the end of the year, I started getting a little bit more fitness back and, and getting a bit more of the pill as well. So um, that was a bit of an improvement on, on my first half of the year. But um, taking that into this year, I mean, we went to Utah uh, yep. over the preseason for the second year in a row. Um, that all ran smoothly and went brilliantly and mm-hmm. was super hard, but I think that's improved everyone on our list as well. So um, coming into the preseason games, uh, the boys have, have been okay. Yep. I mean, a little bit scratchy early on, but I think everyone has been, haven't they? And, mm, and they... hopefully uh, in the next couple of weeks, we can tighten a few things up and be ready for round one. And personally, you look, fit, but also big. Uh, the big cannons there. And they tell me in the gym, <laughs> how many kegs do you bench press? Uh, bench press about 140, I think. 142, I was told, so by the way. On, Mate, that is unbelievable mm. for a midfielder. That is good. What did you, when you first came down from Wodonga and you're lifting up buckets of sand to now? <laughs> Bricks. <laughs> Bricks, yeah. yeah. What, what When you first come down, what would you bench press? Oh, probably about 90 kilos yeah. when I first got down. So 142, and no, uh, good work. That's a- uh, Zeebs, I want to ask you this, because you're a contested ball winner. Uh, you're a real uh, heat of the kitchen style operator. When you look across the line when you're playing against Hawthorne, for instance, and you see Luke Hodge, uh, Jordan Lewis, uh, you know uh, Sam Mitchell, mm. or maybe Lenny Hayes and blokes. I mean, th- these are men who have been doing that for ten years, hard as nails, big bodies. Has that intimidated you, or has it been one of those ones where you've looked at it and said, "Well, to to get to their level, I've got to play against them." Yeah, well, I think early on, I mean, growing up as a kid, you think uh, like the Chris Judds and, and yep. as you said, Luke Hodges of the game. It's it's almost an honour to play against them sort of thing. But um, after a while, I think you just get used to the jumper and that's who you're playing against. Yep. It doesn't matter who who's wearing the jumper. And, and I think that um, you just have faith in your preparation and, and to, to be the best, you've got to beat the best. So, so is it, does it amaze you then, given what we've just discussed, that you look across the line and see your own uh, teammate in Andrew Swallow who's mm. built pretty comparably to myself uh, <laughs> and smashes in harder than almost anyone who's worn the jumper. Yeah. Did he say who I think? Yeah, yes, he did. It's Idiot not, not a big man uh, spitter. This is a big man. Am I wrong or not? No, spitter's not the biggest of men getting around. No, and yet... He's very hard at it. Yeah, no, it, it, uh, spitter is good like that. I mean, he puts Spit. his body on the line... <laughs> He puts his body on the line. Immature, Bill. Yeah, it is immature. Exactly, Bill, stop doing From it. you guys to call him that, it is. But he does. He puts his head over the ball, uh, yeah, and that's no why he's captain of the club, and that's why you're vice captain, Jim. I, I no like doubt, it. Bill. Yeah. Hey, uh, Daniel Will, speaking of uh, blokes that you just need to finish off, and he's been obviously injured with that. Is it lung? Yeah, I think uh, he had blood clots. Yeah, blood clots. How is he travelling? Because you need him playing. Yeah, no, Daniel Lucas is a very important part of our side um, going forward with his silky skills and, mm. and the way he moves, a smooth mover across the ground. Um, he's going well at the minute. I mean, I think he's still on his meds in that and that and hopefully will be right for maybe round two or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But, um, I mean, Wells, he's, it's just more important about getting him right, um, making sure that he does everything right for his health and, and all that sort of stuff before he starts thinking about football and, and making sure he takes care of his family. Oh, so look, look at Linda there. Oh, She's yeah. just uh, uh, absolutely... She list- a- couldn't listen any harder than that, Bill. She was asleep. You just <laughs> woke her up, Tim. 
<laughs> we're going to take a break. Jack <laughs> Zebel to stay with us. <laughs> Linda Zebel there She's as well. <laughs> moved oh, down from dear. Albury, Jim. Here we go, oh. Bill. He's in trouble. More on that next. <laughs> the new vice captain, of course, uh, yourself and Big Drewy, and then uh, Boomer and Wellesley for uh, rounding out the uh, leadership group. Are, are you a fan of, of leadership groups? Because I saw where uh, David Parkin mm-hmm. on a television show during the week was critical of them and said you pick one captain and he runs the joint. What do you think? Oh, I think leadership groups are good because it gives a different um, buy-in from, from a different ages as well. You, like, you look at our list and you've got uh, Boomer who's um, 32 or 3 or yep. whatever he is and, and then you've got myself who's, who's just turned 21. Um, Boomer probably doesn't connect with the younger guys like I do. So um, if issues are, are raised and stuff like that from the younger guys, um, it's easier for me to be able to go up and speak to them. And, and they've probably got a little bit more, um, I don't know how you say it, a bit more like, buy-in bo- with yeah, you. With yeah. me, sort of thing. So just, then I can bring that back to the leadership group and everyone can be across what goes on. Can you the, say to group. Boomer, no, that's not right, Boomer. Yeah. Uh, can you say that to him? Anyone can say that to Boomer. Yeah, yeah. good. Right. How, how many times have you? <laughs> <laughs> Not many. He doesn't do much wrong. I, I t- nothing wrong. <laughs> no, he's very good. Uh, 10 wins last year, 12 losses. Um, obviously, got to improve from that. But the big thing, I think, is, and I'm sure you've spoken about, is beating the top teams. That's where you've struggled. Beat the sides with you and below you okay. It's just the sides above you. That's right. I mean, last year we got um, belted by Collingwood a couple of times mm. and Geelong down there as well. So... Um, I mean, a big area of focus for us this year is, is as you said, being competitive in the top, against the top four teams um, and, and making a, a mark against them and, and trying to um, play the way we want to play for more game time than they do and, and hopefully we come out with a result. Who's the biggest pest at the joint? Who do you avoid in the locker rooms? Who do you avoid around the dinner table if you're on an interstate trip? Yeah, I think this is pretty well known, but uh, Loose McMahon. Loose. <laughs> Loose McMahon. What's going on with him? He's got the sort of weird beard going mm. and the sort of flabby guts. He's, he's Alan from the Hangover. <laughs> yeah, he's Alan from the Hangover. So he's Loose, he's obviously, yes. <laughs> Hence his nickname. But yeah. uh, no, Loose is a good fella. But um, yeah, he gets on a few people's nerves and I think he's proud of it too. Nathan Grimer. Nani. Nani. Um, <laughs> he's a legend, mate. He's, he's, a, <laughs> he's a country bloke, but uh, he's, what you see is what you get with Nani, and, and that's why we love him. Bit dopey. <laughs> uh, and now, how are you going with the lovely Linda? She's made the big move from Albury, so that means we're serious, Jackie boy. I don't think she moved for me, mate. It's just coincidence. <laughs> is it? Known each oh. other for a long time. Oh, I know. Childhood sweethearts. Were your childhood sweethearts, Jack? Oh, Wodonga uh, Primary School? No, I just knew each other back in the day. She's from Albury, so I didn't really oh. speak to her that much. You used to slip yeah. across the bridge, did she? Or oh. you go the other way? No, I actually didn't know her that well back in the day, but... Oh. Sort of blossomed a little bit later on. What, since you started playing for North? She's just <laughs> jumped on, has jumped on board. She doesn't follow footy either. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, now, one one. Mad Jack Jaw, we uh, loved it. We all want him to play. First Sudanese ever to play the game would be fantastic. Uh, how's he going? All right? Yeah, Dorsey's going well. Do you um, talk to him? Because he's your, we're talking about that age group and you can just sit down with him and say, now, Madge, come on, mate. Yeah, yeah. Now, look, Madge acts in the, at the club in the mornings because he's still coming back from his uh, um, his knee injury he's got. So mm-hmm. um, he's doing his rehab with the physios in the morning. So we get to catch up with Madge a little bit. Um, but as you know, he's down at Werribee and he's training well. And I mean, uh, Madge is a super talented player. Um, yeah. He's got all the attributes, um, but he's just got to get a few things right to be able to play the game and, and hopefully... Um, everyone hopes that he can do it and hopefully he can and play some games for North. So really then, exciting. then the leadership group sit down and say, right, I imagine come back and train with us. Is that how it's going to work? Uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. Well, no. well, good luck. All right, mm-hmm. so Western Bulldogs this weekend. and then We're think, in. Think, in Ballarat? In Ballarat, yeah, which Ooh. is very important for everyone in Ballarat to get along because obviously club's trying to get a foothold up there, permanent one. Um, also, and then I think it's the Blues at Vizzy Park and then uh, into the season mm. proper. So, Zeebs. Fair to say that uh, we need to lift it just a touch. <laughs> yeah, no, look, we've identified a few areas over the last couple right. of weeks. We just need to tighten the screws a little right, bit. I see. But, uh, no doubt we'll do that and we'll be right in the next couple of weekends and lead into round one against the Bombers on a Saturday <laughs> night. It'll be fantastic. No point. <laughs> there, publicly, Bill, yes. no point shooting 63 in the pro in no, the Yeah, see, exactly. Pri- you... Privately. Just a little bit of Zeb, if you don't mind. Yeah, something Zeb. He can't play. He's not playing the first two I games. Know. Well, uh, this is it. Yeah. Uh, what about your president? Does he look like a teddy bear to you, <laughs> Zeb? Zeb, my advice Zeeps. to you yes is, or no, is to Zeeps. say absolutely nothing. Do you look at him and think, that's a teddy bear? Uh, no, that was very harsh. Yeah, yeah, it exactly, shouldn't have been done. Exactly right. Well said. Hey, Linda, very <laughs> nice to see you. Zeb, very nice to see you. Good luck up there in Ballarat uh, against yes. the Western Bulldogs. And, of course, uh, once the season proper starts, we'll see you around three. Beautiful. Thanks, boys. On your zapes. Jack Zeeble.